Para fazer que se saldou a e está na caminha para o Wayfair. Tora, Anjo. Anjo, Anjo, Anjo. I'm very happy to welcome you in my studio. Yeah. And to be honest, uh, one year ago, I can say, uh, yes. when I uh, watched your videos very first time on TikTok, I was inspired by you to have this kind of program to mm. talk about our foreigners living in Romania. Yes. And here we are in my studio one year later. So welcome. Thank you. Thank and you uh, Dora, I guess many people uh, recognize you from TikTok. And I want to know, don't you think to start your own YouTube channel and to have some vlogging there? First of all, I didn't expect that much that um, my reels or some short videos will fascinate so many people. I, I really didn't expect. I have actually two YouTube channels. In one channel, I upload my performance videos only. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the second channel, I upload uh, like um, some basic Russian language uh, mm -hmm. learning videos um, for Korean people who want to uh, learn Russian language. Dora, I guess many people are wondering how you heard about Armenia first time and what when you decided to move Armenia. From 2016 to 2022, I was living in uh, Russia. There I heard about Armenia, actually. I had some Armenian friends first, mm -hmm. and also I noticed some announcement about um, piano competition uh, that will gonna be held in uh, Armenia, Yerevan. So I was just interested, like, oh, in Armenia, there's going to be a, a piano competition. Maybe I should uh, participate in it. And then I just registered and prepared so hard, you know. But uh, like a week before the competition, they canceled the mm -hmm. event. I already bought a flight ticket to Armenia. Mm -hmm. So what can I do? It's non-refundable. When to came to Armenia and... Actually, I didn't expect like, um, oh my God, it, it was such an amazing country. So beautiful. Everything is so beautiful. So I really enjoyed it. And now I'm living already for over a year. Uh, can you remember first time when you landed in Armenia? What was your impressions? Uh, what you felt? Uh, it was September uh, 2022. It was very hot. Mm. <laughs> The first impression was, oh my God, the weather is so hot. I, I should take off all my clothes. <laughs> but I actually love hot weather. So I just enjoyed it. Food was great. People were great. It was perfect. <laughs> I, I just fell in love with Armenia. Uh, Dora, many... Uh, girls, I can say mostly, and uh, I guess uh, guys as well, are watching Doramas. Mm -hmm. um, and I was wondering, do you also watch Doramas? And do you see any similarities between Doramas and the real lives? Well, um, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of <laughs> Korean films and dramas. Mm -hmm. and, but sometimes I just um, watch some clips of uh, dramas, not all of them. Segments just. Yeah. But actually, as you know, like drama is drama. A movie is movie. And you, real life is just real life. So uh, you cannot compare. And maybe that's why people are watching it, because it's unreal something something unreal and then some such romantic event will happen in my life i have a question that actually my sister uh, asked me to ask you my <laughs> okay. little sister okay. are you listening uh k-pop yeah sometimes but um as you know uh, when i was a teenager i listened to k-pop every day and I even learned how to dance, you know. <laughs> I was a big fan of um, K-pop. And actually, mm, I don't know much about uh, new K-pop, you know, mm. new generation. Dora, have you tried Armenian food and do you have your most famous Armenian dish that you like? Uh, mm, yes, I've tried several dishes. I very like Tolma. Mm. Uh, and uh, also soup hush, <laughs> <laughs> I really love it. Mm. And and also like barbecues are mm -hmm. really great. Yes. 
in the just overall vegetables and mm-hmm. fruits are very good. Yeah. The quality is very good. And also, uh, how do you call it? Cheat? Uh, that dried fruits. Ah, dried fruit. Um, cheat. Cheat. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know. I love it. <laughs> then you're going to like yes, our Yes, I love them. <laughs> She's going to like our product. Then I'm going to tell about them later. Okay. You have a great um, <laughs> taste. <laughs> Sometimes I try Armenian wine. Mm-hmm. It's very good, yes. very tasty. And also Armenian coffee. <laughs> yeah. I really love it. I drink like three cups every day. As we all know, you uh, play piano yes. and everyone maybe will be interested. So do you teach playing piano or you work uh, as a teacher or you just study? I'm studying now in Yerevan Komita State uh, Conservatory hmm. uh, with Professor Karine Ohanyan. She's a very great pianist and I'm I'm really glad that uh, I had an opportunity to study with her. Particularly, I don't teach uh, right now, um, but uh, I teach not piano, but some music theories uh, Mm -hmm. online Mm -hmm. for Korean students. And also uh, I, in Armenia here, I mm, give many concerts, many piano concerts. Lately, you had an amazing concert in Aram Khachatyan Music Hall, so I would like to no like uh, details about that concert actually uh for a very long time i had a depression kind of emotional depression mm. uh, but here in armenia uh, i enjoyed so many things and then they kind of helped me uh, to be recovered you know emotionally and gain some a new energy mm-hmm. so i'm very grateful um, I feel very grateful. So uh, I always wanted to um, give back what I have received from mm-hmm. Armenia and Armenian people. So that's why I um, thought that I have to organize a concert and mm-hmm. invite people mm-hmm. uh, so that I can share my music. And also I want I wanted to especially play some Armenian composers' mm-hmm. music like Komitas and Khachaturian. I wanted to play in a full hall, you know, uh, with many people, Mm -hmm. uh, with big audience. So that's why I also made another Instagram Reels and then uh, where I said like... um, To invite everyone. Yeah, I invite everyone. Because you have a huge follower. I can see you got... I I see that you have a lot of viewers, like it's a lot for me, you know? Actually, so many people came uh, yeah. on my concert, so uh, I was also very satisfied while playing and mm-hmm. um, talk before them. And then they also enjoyed my music. So everything went so smooth. As you very expected? Yes, 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 yes. That's great. So I wish you have many concerts, even bigger halls, so many people can gather around. So. Maybe later you will have a bigger concert, so I wish that. One of my dreams is uh, playing at uh, Aram Hachaturian Concert Hall, uh-huh, Opera. Opera. And maybe you can uh, think about singing some more Armenian songs, because it's uh, very beautiful. I would be very appreciated uh, if yes. you recommend some songs later. <laughs> uh, maybe you can try Of Sirun Sirun, or you can try Merci Do Ashuna. Uh, where you generally go to work in Armenia and uh, what is your the most favorite corner in Armenia that you spend your free time? I just enjoy walking uh, through some, several streets like uh, Sarian Street, mm-hmm. uh, for example. And uh, I mm, sometimes I go to Martyros Sarian Museum mm-hmm. and uh, see some uh, beautiful paintings. And also uh, through Northern Avenue. Uh, oh, I no. uh, usually walk with my friends. Republic Square uh, mm-hmm. is very yes, beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Especially, I guess, at night. At night, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very beautiful. And later, I want to go to some other, other regions mm-hmm. of Armenia, like Lodi. You have to explore, yes. Yeah. Dilijan. In, 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 you don't, you I've been? never been. I, I've never been to even Sevan Lake. You've never been? Yeah. I'm living in Armenia one year. Yeah, you have to. I, I can should. suggest you to go Ijevan. Ijevan, uh huh. And there are many, many beautiful um, hidden gems, Armenians, yes. that you have to visit and see. Um, 
Dota, I know that you already know some Armenian words. Uh, and I was wondering, do you have your favorite Armenian words so that you can share with us? <laughs> well, just uh, Armenian language, uh, when I listen to my friends or in, on, from the TV, like, I just uh, love how it sounds. You know, mm. not not only specific words, but in general, I really love. But like such as napastak, the mm. very cute mm. napastak and sirunik, mm. <laughs> such thing. And um, and also, I heard, I, I hear many times Eli, Eli? such as Eli. Yes, mm. it's like again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eli and Erav. Mm -hmm. Also, I listen to one. And uh, also, uh, thank you, Shunora uh -huh. Sounds really soft and, uh, I don't know, really beautiful. Satisfying. <laughs> yeah, satisfying. Can you tell us your the biggest dream? I can say that uh, when I was when I was young, um, I had many difficulties with uh, learning piano because when I was a kid. I didn't have teacher, you know, I didn't have piano teacher. Mm. I just uh, learned piano uh, through watching some videos of mm. pianists on YouTube. So I'm kind of self-taught pianist. Mm -hmm. uh, but why? Why I became a self-taught pianist? Because my family uh, was very poor, actually. Mm. Financial, financial situation was not good. So I know how difficult it is if I become really good musician, really famous musician and yeah. and maybe i can afford to uh, mm, uh establish a um, uh, music school mm -hmm. like free music school school that uh kids can come freely uh, and uh, and i hope that uh, maybe you can start from armenia so you maybe find someone who will sponsor you and say you know what i'm sponsoring you you just teach these people you just teach, teach these kids mm -hmm. and you'll do Great. something that you like and plus uh, your dream will become will come true. of course <laughs> Dora, what do you mostly miss about your country, Korea? In Korea, I miss many things. First of all, my family <laughs> and my friends in Korea. Also, I miss uh, Korean food very mm. much, especially spicy food. Uh, we have chicken <laughs> in Korea, but Korean style chicken. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they fried it in Korean way nice. and with Korean species. And then Korea is also famous uh, for their uh, cosmetics. You know? yes. uh, so uh, sometimes I really want to have some Korean uh, beauty products. Who is your favorite Armenian artist? Mm, I play music, so uh, most likely I really love Armenian musicians, uh, especially Armenian composers like Komitas uh, and uh, Aram Khashoturian and Arno Babajanian, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, etc. And uh, also, uh, I really like Armenian painters, you know, like Martiros Sarian. Tora, are there anything that you tried to find in Armenia but you couldn't? I guess you already answered that question, like your cosmetic products <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and uh, maybe food so but are there anything else in general like that you try to find but couldn't and mm. you would be happy to find them <laughs> actually uh, there are two things that I want to mention one is uh, we call it in Korea as convenience store have you heard about it yeah no. convenience store is just just small shop Mm -hmm. uh, with products and, and some ingredients like vegetables, fruits, I, I don't know, some cookies, just an ordinary shop, but that um, uh, that is open 24 hours, mm -hmm. you know. In Korea, you can see such 24-hour shops everywhere. Uh. Too many of them in Korea. And in Armenia, I'm, I didn't really see many of yes. the shops I, I've seen, but not many. Second thing is uh, uh, I play piano and uh, actually in Korea and in other countries, uh, there are many uh, kind of chains of uh, piano practice rooms. You can just pay hourly per hour. Okay, I want to practice here 
uh, in this room for two hours, and then you pay and practice. Mm-hmm. In Yerevan, I've never seen such practice room. Dora, can you describe uh, our Armenia in three words? Three words. So, shat, sirun, ne. That was uh, actually very <laughs> interesting answer. <laughs> In Armenian and three words, mm-hmm. and uh, you describe all Armenia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Dora, how your perfect day looks like? I don't know. It's a very kind of vague question. I mean, there are several types of perfect day. I mean, uh, it can be like your concert day. Uh, mm-hmm. You have good concerts, and you know, it can be perfect. Or, but I really like some. Uh, small things like uh, drinking tea with my friends and walking through some beautiful streets. When I meet some uh, street cats and street dogs, I really love them. I want mm. to stroke yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, such small things I really such like. Tiny things can make your day happy. Yes, it's like a puzzle, you know. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, and good coffee. Mm-hmm. Reading yeah, some books. Becoming a real Armenian, actually, <laughs> you mentioning coffee many times. So <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She's becoming our. <laughs> Native Armenian. <laughs> Dora, your message to the world and to the people who never seen the Armenia, how you will say, why would they visit Armenia? Maybe I can describe Armenia like uh, with many words, like it's a very beautiful country with um, rich culture and tradition, uh, with good food, good weather, good people, nice people. But um, yeah, with beside these words, I can just say that you have to just come here and see and just experience uh, how great uh, is uh, Armenia. Um, just you yourself have to Maybe just uh, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 come and visit and see. You have to mm. feel that. Mm. <laughs> Because with, with words, you cannot describe the beauty of Armenia. Yeah. You can never describe in words. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. And actually, I, I have some gift from our sponsors. I am uh, suggesting you to eat it every morning. Uh-huh. Just a small amount can help you to have more energy, more strength, so you go ahead and practice more. <laughs> so Thank you. it can make your morning more perfect, more beautiful, like a small piece. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Great. Thank you so much for us. So thank much. you. That was an amazing interview. And uh, thank you guys as well. And please, guys, just subscribe to my channel uh, to watch our new upcoming videos, uh, my new upcoming interviews. Thank you so much. See you guys. <music>